I have a new video for you guys because we need to talk about Lisa Rinna and her latest bizarre statement. Recently on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Lisa brought up a serious situation that was uncalled for. His friend went and ended up f***ing a girl. Ay, ay, ay. It was highly inappropriate and fans have been questioning Lisa and her husband, Harry. So let's get into it. If you guys don't know who Lisa Renna or Harry Hamlin is, I will give you a quick rundown. Lisa Renna is from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She's been in Hollywood for a long time, but that's what she's been up to lately. Lisa and Harry have been married since 1997, and they have two daughters together. Harry Hamlin is currently 69 years old, and he is an American actor and author. Lisa Renna is 57, and like I mentioned, she is an actress, an author as well, and a TV personality on the show The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We've never actually talked about this show before on my channel, but after recently watching a clip from the segment we're going to be talking about today, I was shook. And actually, I used to be a huge fan of the show and Bravo, the TV network, but I haven't had cable in a couple years, so I haven't been able to catch up. Anyways, Lisa Renna was having dinner with the rest of the cast, and she made a very bizarre comparison between her relationship with Denise Richards, who is a former castmate, and a situation that went down with her husband, Harry. The comparison was so bad that it really stopped everyone in their tracks, and people were wondering what could have been going through Lisa's head. So like I was saying, Denise Richards used to be on the show, until her relationship with Lisa Renna and the rest of the cast went sour. And pretty much what happened was there was rumors going around that Denise Richards hooked up with a former housewife named Brandy Glanville. And Brandy was going around spreading these rumors. Honestly, Brandy's a little bit dramatic, but we love her for that. Well, Lisa Rinna was disgusted and bothered by the rumors that Denise and Brandy like could have hooked up. And honestly, Lisa Rinna wasn't buying it when Denise said that they never hooked up before. So Lisa Rinna continued to bully Denise for it and make her feel really uncomfortable like she did something with Brandy when she claims she never did. Garcelle is actually another housewife who has been calling out Lisa Rinna for how she did Denise Richards super dirty. She's made it very clear to everyone that Lisa Renna is a disloyal and dishonest friend. And the reason why is because a bunch of the girls were talking about these rumors between Denise Richards and Brandy Glanville, and Lisa Renna had plenty of time to overhear the conversation, confront her friend Denise with it, and let her know that the other women are speaking about it. But Lisa Renna kept it inside and waited until everyone was aware of the rumors and brought it up and bombarded Denise Richards with it on camera camera. So Denise felt very crossed by Lisa Renna that Lisa didn't pick up the phone and at least warn her that this was coming her way. This article writes, when Lisa heard of Denise's alleged affair with Brandy Glanville from Teddy Mellencamp and Kyle Richards, she wondered if this was actually true. But instead of reaching out to her friend and giving her a heads up about the situation, Denise was blindsided by a confrontation with all of the housewives. And in that episode, Denise noticed that Lisa was trying to push Teddy Mellencamp to reveal the rumor to everyone, allowing her friend of over 10 years to get super embarrassed on national television and in front of all of the castmates. But Lisa Renna's excuse was that she, you know, sh it wasn't her rumor. And she feels like Teddy should have brought it up to Denise instead of just sharing it to everyone else. And she wanted to wait off and just let it happen because she never heard directly from Brandy that, you know, Denise and Brandy hooked up. So she was going to let Teddy do all of the dirty work. But it left a bad taste in everybody's mouth. So there's your backstory, and before we get into the bizarre clip of the story that Lisa shared with the women, I want to explain to you guys the setup. So Lisa revealed to the ladies at this dinner that she thought and reflected about how things went down between her and Denise. She even actually discussed it with her husband, Harry. When he heard her concerns and views, he reportedly shared a story with her which he believed might help Lisa feel better about her actions. Lisa then narrated the story to the rest of the group about how Harry met up with a really close friend for drinks. After they had drinks, the friend reportedly left and R-worded a woman. He essayed a woman. 
When the friend was put behind bars for it, all their friends decided to be supportive of their imprisoned friend and visit him and let him know that they stood by him. But Harry reportedly refused to stand by his friend or show support. There's a lot to unpack here, and I just want to go ahead and watch the scene with you guys, and then we can talk about what Harry was thinking and how Hollywood is such a disgusting place that a man would go and essay a woman, and then afterwards all of his friends would come and coddle him in jail. So let's go ahead and watch this scene together. I am going to have to pause because of copyright, but you guys are going to be shocked by how Lisa just casually shared this story. You know, I've, I've talked to my husband so much about this because I'm going to share a story that he shared with me. Um, he had a friend who he went and had a drink with, and that night, his friend went and ended up f***ing a girl. Okay, the way that Lisa ran out, one, didn't give us a trigger warning, but two, said it so casually. Like, he just went on and ended up R-wording a girl. And I'm like, this is crazy how Hollywood is just so, it's so normalized that these things happen. That it's almost like, yeah, you're shocked by it, but also not really, like, he just casually did it after some drinks. Ew. Ay, ay, ay. His really close friend. Oh my. Okay, so his friend went to jail and all of their friends said, we need to go and visit him and support him and love him. And Harry said, I can't do that. Which good for Harry that he just could not go and support his friend after that. I would feel the same way. I mean, like what? And he got arrested right after. So it must've been something like a whole crime scene situation. I just can't do it. Blind loyalty. So the point of this, your story, you couldn't blindly- I'm so glad that Garcelle is here to just like, um, you know, clarify everything. I hope I'm saying her name right. Garcelle. Garcelle. Yeah, Garcelle. Anyways, she's someone who I haven't seen on the show before because like I said, I haven't had cable in a couple of years, but she's been holding Lisa Renna accountable and I'm glad that she's here to translate this mess. I believe Denise. Well, I couldn't blindly- support her. You couldn't blindly she support her. Blindly loyal. I said that wrong. Yeah, you could, we loyal. couldn't yeah. blindly yes. support her. Yeah. What a bad comparison. So we've got Lisa Renna over here with her friend Denise. They've been friends for 10 years. And Lisa Renna just doesn't believe Denise when she said she didn't hook up with Brandy. And she's comparing her, you know, disbelief of her good friend to a situation where her husband had an even better friend who R-worded someone and then went to jail for it. And when she said very close, like very close, like it made me think like, Who's this guy? Because these people are really entrenched in Hollywood, and I feel like we maybe know who he is. When this episode came out, everybody on Twitter was super confused. People were asking, not Lisa Renna equating Denise sleeping with Brandy to Harry Hamlin's friend R-wording someone. Another person tweeted, is Lisa comparing Denise and Brandy having consensual, you know, acts of adultmanship? to a friend of Harry Hamlin being a convicted, essayed, like, person. Are you serious, Lisa? It seemed very cold of Lisa to use that comparison to this situation because it does not seem like it's comparable at all. As for Lisa Renna and Denise Richards' friendship, there really isn't one at all. It's crazy because they were friends for 10 years plus, but Andy Cohen asked Lisa Renna during the reunion show, do you wish anything, you know, went down differently? I mean, you lost a really good friend. And Lisa Renna only shared that she wishes that she never brought Denise onto the show. Not that she did anything differently, she just wished she never gave her that hookup, that job, or whatever, because it obviously caused them a lot of tension in their friendship. That shows you guys that a decade-long friendship can be ruined over one season of a television show. But ever since that episode dropped, a lot of people have been wondering, who was Harry Hamlin's friend who went to jail over this? I actually came across this meme where it writes, there's no way that Harry's friend from Lisa's story was Weinstein, was it? So I actually tried to do some digging to figure out if it was actually Harvey Weinstein that they're referring to with that story. I really couldn't find many pictures of Harry and Harvey together. It doesn't seem like they're actually close friends like what Lisa said. But as I was doing research, I came across information about Harry 
Hamlin, Lisa Rinna's husband, and he's actually very problematic himself. So we're going to do a little like 360 in this video, and I'm going to remind you guys that Harry Hamlin isn't that innocent at all, and it makes me think that just Hollywood is a toxic, disgusting place where these people get away with a ton of it. So a while back on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, we had a whole other cast. We had Kim Richards, we had Yolanda, oh my god, throwback to Yolanda and her fridge. If you know, you know. But there was a trip that the girls took to Europe, and during this trip, Kim Richards and Lisa Rinna got into it. And during this fight, Kim Richards brought up some rumors against Harry Hamlin, and it makes me think that he's very problematic. So let's go ahead and watch that scene together. It's a crazy scene. And then we will talk about who he violated. As before, I will pause because of copyright issues. But right here, you see there's Kim Richards. She has had a lot of issues with her sobriety. And that's pretty much what they're talking about at the table. But Kim Richards wants to switch it up and talk about Lisa's husband. Because why talk about Kim's problem? I mean, Lisa's got plenty of problems for their whole table. So I'm concerned about you. First of all, this let's not talk about it. Wait, wait, nice excuse me. I'm concerned this nice about home. you at your situation at home. You want to bring out. You see her face there. She's like, oh, no. Like my situation at home. You did not just bring that up. My stuff. Let's talk about your home Kim. life. Excuse me. I'm not oh, talking to you. Know your behavior's not OK. Really? Yeah, it's not OK. Why don't you have a piece of bread and maybe you'll calm down a little? Shame oh, on you. God. You're just oh my god, that was disgusting, actually. I mean, uh, really? I mean, Lisa Renna has always been pretty thin, and people have joked to her about her eating and things like that. So, of course, Kim Richards took a low blow and told her to eat some bread. Maybe she'll be in a better mood, suggesting that Lisa Renna doesn't eat enough, which we do not like people who shame EDs on this channel. That's not okay. Let's go ahead and finish the scene. Over let's for talk three about the years. husband. Oh, wait, excuse me. Did you just say let's, let's talk about not, the husband? Let's not talk about what you don't want to help. You know what? Wait, Let me tell you something. Don't ever don't touch just my say. husband. Just ever. say. Don't you? Oh. <gasps> She's going through the throat. And honestly, I remember watching this as a young lad on television. And I didn't think, like, this was that big of a deal. But now, looking into, like, the research, I'm like, oh, my gosh. I mean, her husband pretty much committed a crime. And... Kim Richards is bringing up some of that Hollywood tea that Lisa doesn't want out here. You don't ever ever you don't want out for everybody to know. You better want to down. talk about me or everybody will know. No. You don't understand that. Every you never go after me. Every that you don't want. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, and you see her sister Kyle Richards running out of the building like, let me get out of here. So obviously Lisa Rinna didn't want Kim to say much more, and that's why she got up and threw that drink. I truly feel like Kim struck a chord with her, and there's something that these people are trying to hide. I mean, if Harry Hamlin's over here hanging out with people who are convicted R-words, then what type of guy is he? Well, let's talk about Julianne Phillips, because this woman supposedly dated Harry Hamlin for some time until he took advantage of her. So the rumor is that Harry had an affair with an actress named Julianne Phillips, who he was starring in a sitcom called Allie and Me With. The story goes that Julianne, upon learning that Harry was two-timing her with Lisa Renna, immediately broke it off with Harry. In response, Harry physically hurt her and supposedly R-worded her and a lot of other things. So it seems like Harry was dating Lisa Renna and this woman, Julianne, at the same time. Julianne found out about it. She was not happy about it, but Harry allegedly got very physical and aggressive with her. Following that incident, Lisa actually started to bother Julianne and was telling her that she needed to get out of here. And Julianne was a powerless Hollywood newbie. I mean, she has been working for some time. But compared to Harry and Lisa, I mean, they've been in the industry for so long, she felt like she had no power over them. So she actually ended up fleeing Hollywood and never worked as an actress again. It is really sad to look her up because it does seem like she just went off the radar and I wonder if this is actually why. I mean, at one point she was with Bruce Springsteen. They were married from 1985 to 1989, but then he had an affair on her as well, breaking up their marriage. Everything we know with Harry Hamlin is a legend. We don't know if he actually harmed Julianne or what went down there, but we do know that she was with Bruce Springsteen, and after that marriage fell through, she just got out of Hollywood. 
When it comes to Lisa Renna, you know, acknowledging these rumors, she has tweeted out one time about this. She wrote, Julian Phillips did nothing. Leave her alone. I'm not entirely sure why people would be bothering Julianne over this after so many years, but it makes me question Lisa Renna and Harry Hamlin and all those people in their squad because if she's over here so casually talking about something so serious and at the same time her husband has some allegations against him i mean there's a lot going on in hollywood a lot of bad things and i wouldn't be surprised if lisa renna and harry hamlin had a little slice of evil on their plate but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do have a p.o box package to open for you guys it's from someone named denise thank you so much denise and i love the packaging and like the just the font and everything so so cute let's go ahead and see what she sent me it looks like she's got a sticker here actually so Maybe it's a little brand that she's got. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited when you send me a little item and giving you a shout out for your um, brands and such, which I'm always so like, how do you, I mean, I can't barely, I can barely run my YouTube channel. So the fact that you guys have like a whole business is like wild. So let's go ahead and read this note right here. Hey Sloan, I discovered your channel last month and I get so excited every time I see a notification for a new video. Yes. I wanted to send you some pins from my shop because I thought it would be fun. Oh, it's an Etsy shop. We'll link it below. Thank you for all you do. I can't imagine the amount of hard work and dedication that goes into your channel videos. Thank you so much. I love this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even catch your name. Denise. I've already said your name. Anyways, and she's got a um, an Instagram. It's Cosmic Canary. That's so cute. What? Okay, so let's go ahead and look at her pins. Oh, it looks like her brand. So Cosmic um, uh, Canary. So we've got Thriving here, which is so cute. Is a canary a red bird, right? Like, I feel like, isn't a canary, or is that a cardinal? I don't know, but I love this. It says, thriving. Oh, I should wear pens in my shirt. This one says, oh my gosh, it says, F off with your bad vibes. Like, it literally says the F word on it. Oh my gosh, that'll be me, like, going, like, I don't know, somewhere aggressive, maybe. This one is so pretty. What? She sent me this one of, like, literally, like, a plant. Like, it looks like a little, like, leaf fern thing look how pretty that is <gasps> this one like would just be good like with the outfit you know what i mean like what like a little accessory oh these are so cool i love that and it looks like she sent me like a sticker version of these two as well which that is so cute i really love like this f off one <laughs> like it's a little bit aggressive but i'm like yeah straight to the point you know what i mean oh uh, thank you so much denise i love these so much and you guys definitely go check out her etsy shop below support our fellow subscriber friends and i will see you guys in a new video soon Bye, guys.